What's up, Abilene? Are we live? We are live. We are live. Are we? Okay. Oh, there we go. What? Right, oh. There we go. Abilene. We were probably still live before. We too. were. We were. That's cool. You know. How's everybody doing yeah. today? Great. Awesome. And getting, getting better. better. When? All the time. And all God's people say. Hallelujah. Look, one okay, person amen. has tuned in. One person. And we don't even know who it is. It's my wife. I think it was Amanda. Yeah. Well, you know. Amanda is. Fair. You know, one of the one of the three. We've been live hey. For Thirty seconds. Hey guys. You know, you know, anyway. We can't see who's tuning in. What's going on yeah, here? You know, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Something's happening. Oh, what? Well, that wasn't good. What'd you do? Hit not set. Eh, who cares? Mm-hmm. Discussion. Are y'all? Is anybody posting anything? Ooh, never. No. We have three, and I think it's all three that's in here. I think so too. You know. I hey, Farah. Thank you there. Hello. Hey, Farah. How are you this hey, morning? Hey, sister. She is from Abilene, Texas, and she works at Connect. Can, what? Connect Church. Connect of Abilene. Church. Hello, Stormy. Hey, there, Stormy. What's going on? Yeah. That's everybody. Yeah, five people. Yeah. This is, yeah, this, this might is, be this the record. Is like, this is, yeah, tonight this is six. This is definitely the record. We're counting as it goes up. Yes. Y'all jumping off. Yeah, and if you're on, mm-hmm. go ahead and hit us up and yeah, tell so us Yeah, so we know who's on. here, so know what's here. going on. I know so, you guys are wanting to hide. It's okay. You know, but, you know, you hashtag you belong, though. That's, hey, nice. Hey, look, hashtag just got off work. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're currently I took a shower for right now. now. I didn't. I smelled. Yeah, I, I, I smell. Yeah, you did. On a scale That's of one okay. to awesome. That's okay. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, definitely smell awesome. So anyways, we are so glad that you guys have made the decision to tune in this today at the midweak meal. I still don't know who's on there, but it, it is matter. what it is. Who cares? You know. uh, we're just excited hey. you guys decided to tune in. Uh, we will count this as a victory here at Connect Church of Abilene. So what has been going on in your week, Pastor Adam? In my week? Week. Today, start today, start today. with Sunday would be the beginning of your week. <laughs> Let's start with Monday. We'll work our way. <laughs> Why are we going to start with Monday? I thought Sunday was... We're going to yeah. go back to Sunday? Yeah, eventually. I'm going to recap on that. Monday, yeah, I have no... Yeah, I've been working at the cabinet shop all week. Nice. Yeah, we have a... We have... Our it's full. Our shop's full. Nice. Like, like, we are like little paths right now. Yeah. I so, like it. But all we've been doing. I like it. So yep. that's all you've done is built camp. baseball. We had baseball okay. Monday night. Did you win? Um, we did not win. It was our first loss. Ah, four and one. That's all right. Yeah, can't win them all. Yeah, they should have won, but it is what it is. Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And you how was ask? your week? There we go. Thanks. Hey, bud. yeah, how was hey. your week, JB? It's been good. It's Super busy. Man. Uh, came hey, back. we still have like eight people. Nobody's left yet. That's okay. That's a that's a win for us. <laughs> uh, and uh, so what I've been up to? Let's see. Um, hmm, about five ten. Uh, huh. I am six foot on the dot. Uh, we lost somebody. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was probably one of our wives. They hear us enough, and they're like, "We're out of here." Uh, but it is uh, not much, man. Just been busy. Had a lot of work going on, yep. uh, which has been good because that does pay the bills. So that's Amen a good thing. Into that, uh, man. Paying bills. Is a good I'll tell you what. It's been that's hard to get thing. back it's into flow after being after, on vacation. Yeah. It's been a struggle, and yeah. the struggle has been real. <laughs> it's been insane. I have not taken a single nap all week. What? I know. I think if they let me take a nap at my job, I'd be way more productive. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we know. Me. Hey, if you're tuning in, uh, hit the hit the button, hit something, give us a comment so we know who's out there. Somebody else just jumped off again. Yeah, hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the push comment. the button. Do something. I don't know. It's been one of those weeks. That's cool, man. That's good. I'm Jeremy's just gonna, watching. I'm just is Jeremy watching? Jeremy's in. I'm just gonna head out. So, so. I pulled it up on mine so we could see who's in. Yeah. Oh, did, did you, you see how I did is it, it not coming up? Look, Jalen's in. Hello, Jalen. What's the deal? Uh, it's the new Facebook Live thing. This is what we have on know. Sunday mornings. That's why we don't know who's tuning in until I they don't come like to say something. I understand. I don't like that. Hey, man, it's gonna be okay. Jamie, Jamie Calvary. What's up, Jamie? What's going on, big guy? What's up? Big big fella. Big fella. Tiny's Tiny's here. Tiny's here to tell you what's up, what's Jamie. What's up? Uh, so, <laughs> so anyways. Uh, it's been a it's been a good week. Uh, exciting. We had an amazing service Sunday morning. Oh, uh, come on. I could not have been more proud to be a part of Connect Church. 
Uh, we had Josh Davis. Yes. Uh, we had Junior Bishop. Yes, we did. Russell Zachary. Yes. And Pastor Adam or PA uh, up there uh, just sharing their heart on a lot of different topics about fatherhood, uh, yep. about uh, racism uh, yes. and different things. And it was an amazing, amazing service. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, you can do it no. two ways. You can go to our Facebook page that you're looking at right now, or you can go to our YouTube channel, uh, which is Connect Church of Abilene. If you just type that in, uh, you can you can uh, definitely see uh, a rerun of the sermon. So it was amazing and it was awesome. Worship was off the chain. Uh, everything was just good, man. Man, everything was clicking. Like our worship team right now is like clicking on all cylinders. You know what I mean? It was just we've got more and more people that are that we're adding to the worship team. Yeah. And those guys are killing it. Yeah. I mean, it is it is awesome. I am so much loving it. And uh, we've got uh, yeah some new people that um, are coming on board that's going to help take our team to the next level. Um, I also noticed Monique is going to try out for The Voice. She is. That Monique. is awesome. That is awesome. So, I am super And for fun. those of you uh, who maybe have only joined online and haven't had an opportunity to connect with us uh, live in person, Monique is on our worship team. Yes. Uh, she does a phenomenal job. Oh, if you've never heard her voice. sing Oceans, you need to listen to her sing Oceans because it's amazing. Uh, so she's going to be trying out for The Voice. Uh, she's got an amazing voice. She won, I believe, uh, Abilene... Idol or Adeline's mm -hmm. Got Talent, yes. whichever they called it. She won yep. that uh, the first year that they had it and has judged a lot of different things. Just we're really blessed and honored to have her on our worship team. So, Amen. And then we've got the addition, Megan Calvary, Jamie's wife. Which uh, I think also won Abilene Idol. Did she? Point. Yes. Okay. Uh, so she won as well. And then we have Kirk House, who he needs no introduction. Yeah. Uh, it's Kirk, Kirk House. Uh, then yeah. you've got uh, a litany of different drummers that we've got. A litany. A litany. I think we've got like six or seven drummers yeah, in, it's the, ridiculous. in the building. Well, yeah. I'm a drummer. Yeah, I don't, well, I'm counting you. I, oh, are you? Yeah, okay. I'm counting you. I'm definitely the emergency yeah. drummer, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like, yeah. when we ain't got nobody else, yeah. Yeah, it's if time all, for JB. If everyone else in yeah. the church doesn't yeah. show up, <laughs> JB will play drums. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah. if we're lucky. Uh, so. And this Sunday, we're going to try. We're going to try the acoustic drums this He's a little nervous, and I understand. Uh, I'm a lot nervous, but guys. Me and uh, Cody Johnson, he's one of our drummers. He's going to be bringing his live kit, and we're going to try it out. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> Yay. Yes. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes this Sunday, and it'll be yeah. good. Uh, bless Josh Jones. He has been super faithful uh, in playing drums uh, up, up until we were able to get some more drummers involved. Uh, then we oh, got yeah. Danny Snook, uh, who has been since day oh, one. He's him and Kirk have been the staple of the worship team. A lot of times it was just yeah. those two. Yes. So that's why we're as excited as we are about uh, that more people yeah. coming on. And Absolutely. Uh, hobbies filled in on bass uh, and also led worship and Kirk couldn't yeah. lead worship. So it's been good. And then Manya. And I'm going through everybody because they need some recognition. Yes, they do, they do need some recognition. Uh, amazing job. And Jamie, there is no <laughs> doubt in my mind. <laughs> that you are an air drummer. Uh, and your hot dog uh, is right next to your well-done steak that you'll never get. Uh, so, anyways, no big deal. Jamie likes he likes mm -hmm. leather put on a grill. Yes, he does. Uh, which is just not appropriate Yeah. at, at any means at all. So, any, anyways, <laughs> it's okay. We'll talk later. We'll call Jamie Yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll Give be us a little It'll time. Be fine. It'll be uh, fine. So it's, it's just been good and exciting. Worship was really good. Um, we're just continuing to grow, which has been the oh, exciting yeah. thing is to watch. We've uh, had really, really good turnout. A lot of folks being there. So yes, it's been, been exciting uh, to, to see it. Plus the volunteers. Um, we just oh. I, I think we just need to give them all a shout out. Yeah. Just start naming them. Just every one. <laughs> It'd be impossible. There's so many. Uh, and they do such a great start. job. Amazing. I mean, our parking lot to the greeters to the children's to i mean it's ushers i mean it's just phenomenal yeah and i love seeing the youth uh the youth are out there now with some signs you belong we're glad you're here you look good uh different signs welcoming people as they yeah. come onto the campus so that's just been exciting to see we've got a few more things coming uh the parking lot's getting more organized uh so that's that's been really good to see yeah. and uh i do want to give a specific shout out to bob jones uh oh uh sunday so bob, bob jones was all over the place 
That man was kicking butt and taking names, uh, putting out drinks and just everything, man. He did a phenomenal job, and so we're blessed to have him uh, yeah. and all the other ushers and greeters and just everybody doing a phenomenal just job. Just everybody. So I just feel like it's good to shout out and let it people is. know, man, because it is because we have been uh, in the place at times where <clears throat> I, I can say it felt like we were not going to say alone, but some well, of the only ones. Yeah, well, I mean, in, in our lead team, I mean, we have a – I'm just going to tell you, we have a phenomenal lead team. You know, when we, when Fair and I, God sent us down here to start this church, um, I knew my abilities were lacking in many areas and um, didn't know how we were going to do what we did. And God, you know, took me over to Corinthians. And there's a scripture there, uh, verse uh, chapter 16, verse 17, that says that these three guys came to the Corinth church. And Paul was saying, I'm glad they came because they make up where you're lacking. And I just want to say the lead team and all of the volunteers, you guys make up where I'm lacking. God was faithful in that. And our lead team um, does a phenomenal job. I mean, they, um, I am blessed that I just get to get up and preach on Sundays yeah. and they take care of everything. So thank you guys for that. Yeah. It's, it's exciting to see the continual growth and just that, you know, I think it's always good Adam when we're able to kind of show some vision and yeah. cast some vision out there and tell people that what our hearts are and what kind of you're oh, believing absolutely. for. So over the next couple, three months, and I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. He doesn't know what we're, yeah. you know, yeah, we're, we have not gone through this, not, by the way. Uh, but over the next few months and kind of what's coming up, what are some things that you're excited about? What are some things that you want to see within Connect Church? Obviously, the biggest thing is why we talk about servanthood and volunteering and getting plugged in so much is because Adam always says, and it's a culture within the church mm -hmm. that you were called on purpose for a purpose. Yes. And one of the best ways to find that purpose is through serving other people. Well, and that's just it. You know, 99% of the people, your purpose is going to be fulfilled in the local church. Yeah. Um, when you go in and you volunteer, regardless of where you're at, regardless of where you're watching from, um, get a local church. Serve a pastor somewhere because your purpose, you will feel um, so much better when you're fulfilling your purpose. You know, a lot of things with us um, being human is we have a need to give and to serve. And, and when we can't do that, um, we we almost go into a depression yeah and by serving and serving in the local church and serving god and giving your heart full of jesus uh man just takes all of that away yeah and so you know that is something you know we believe everybody was born on purpose for a purpose and that when you get in you find your purpose and you start fulfilling that you know, the things just open up 100 percent. and so and so we're kind of doing uh we're kind of in a season where we're doing uh the summertime's a great time for people to start getting plugged in um we've got some stuff happening where the small groups are starting to going to be launching yeah. you want to go and announce yeah the date so on that? yeah um yeah july 8th. oh july 8th. i remember oh. is it the 8th <laughs> we did not how good did I do? So, I don't remember anything. So we had, we had a discussion last night with the lead team, and I don't remember the date. Yeah, so, so July, July 8th, and we're going to do we're, fellowship and fun, I think. Yes. It yeah. would be the easiest way to explain it. Amen. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're good. So what we're going to do for six weeks, uh, starting on July 8th, um, it can be um, our, our groups will, any night of the week that the host um, wants to have it, they can. Yeah. Um, starting July 8th, uh, we're just going to fellowship around food. Um, we're going to get together. We're going to get to know each other, uh, invite more people into the groups um, so we can start growing the groups. And then in the fall, we're going to transition those groups into um, this series that Fair and I really love. And I'm going to kind of hang on to that for a little bit um, as we go through yeah. that. Um, so we're going to transition. Everybody's going to be going through a specific series. And man, we are just excited about this because Fair and I went through this particular series um, probably six years ago ish, I guess. Is that about right? I'm looking at my wife. She's on the other side of the computer. Um, six, seven years ago, eight. I don't think it's been that long, but six years ago, maybe. And it changed our marriage. Yeah. I mean, it, the things that it, it asked you to do and to dig into your life and who you are and what you're going through, um, and sharing those things, um, that we, you know, one other thing that we say around here is you're only sick as your secrets. And the things that we keep here, this series kind of makes you dig into your life and it makes you dig into the things that you're going through and discuss them with somebody. And it's not specifically so, designed for couples. No, which, no, it's no, absolutely which not. Which is the great thing uh, is it, it doesn't tie you directly in 
uh, as far as a couple or being married or isolating someone who's in singleness yeah. or going through different things. It, it enables you to connect with another brother, another sister in Christ yeah. and just kind of uh, grow together uh, yes. through accountability. And yeah, so you have you have uh, running partners is what they're called. Um, and you meet, you know, on a weekly basis. And then we're also going to have this running through our small group. So they're going to discuss it also. Um, and I think it's going to be uh, a game changer for a lot of people. Yeah. So I'm excited about this fall. I'm excited about this summer and just getting to fellowship and get to know each other. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of people coming into the church and, and we want people to just join those groups and, and have a good time. So um, we're excited about that. Exactly. So and life's hard, but it's a whole lot harder when you try to do it by yourself. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Uh, so it's great that we've got a group of people that you can gather around uh, and that you will know that you belong. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag hashtag you, belong. you belong hashtag welcome home <laughs> hashtag cca <laughs> hashtag 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 yeah of course they need their own hashtag uh, uh, so it's exciting to, to see and that kind of led into kind of where we were sunday which was a group of men joining together uh, to share the heart of fatherhood but not just yeah. of fatherhood but what it is like to raise children well, uh, yeah in, in that, was, that was one thing so you know with all the the racial tension that's going on the racial injustice the things that's going on um, i had on my heart specifically to have a discussion on father's day uh, because it is different raising kids from different cultures. Yes. Um, and so we had we had many cultures that were represented on Sunday and we got to discuss it and we dug into it. And just some things that came out of that, um, you know, was just phenomenal. And I'm not even going to try to repeat or go no. through it. The easiest um, thing go to do watch is it. to watch yeah, it. Yeah, just go watch it. And you can go to YouTube. You can skip. If you want to skip through the worship, skip through the worship and get to um, you know, we did give away gifts, so you have to yeah. skip through that also. <laughs> we, had, yeah. we had a good time Sunday, we definitely did. Um, you know, and then we got into our discussion at the end and just some of the things, you know, on both sides, you know, uh, Josh Davis, uh, is a black man that's in our church that, that brought, oh my gosh, the fire. Yes, he did. And then, you know, I think there was a lot of things I, even after service, I had a lot of people that came in and just were like, you know, I, I have a different view now. Yeah. You know, because uh, the view that we have sometimes is limited because of our knowledge. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, the more knowledge we have, you know, the better we can be. And so I think there was a lot of knowledge given on Sunday and it was just phenomenal. And I, you know, I want to sit down with Josh again. I may invite him on, yeah. to be on here one Wednesday yeah. night um, and maybe we can sit and have some more discussions. And I think one of the so, best things at the end of it, as, you, as you're as you watching it, when you get towards the end, one thing that Pastor Adam says is he says that this is not the end of the discussion. Uh, this is not us stopping. This is something that is a continual thing, yeah. uh, which growth only comes by stretching. And so it's, it's good to stretch us and to it's OK to be uncomfortable. Well, and that's know? just it. You know, people don't like to be uncomfortable, yeah. but, you know, you can't really change without getting there. That's exactly right. You know, so got to get out of our comfort zone, um, you know, and it's not about, you know, I know in in America today, the things that are going on with Black Lives Matter and with uh, Antifa and different things, you know, you can separate all that out. And there is there is a true movement within this. Yeah. You know, take out all the rioting, take out all the looting, take out everything, um, all the violence. And there's a true movement behind this, 100%. you know what I mean? And maybe underneath it, maybe not behind it, it may be buried now uh, that we need to dig out and we need to really have some good discussions with people and just uh, get our eyes opened up and just know that, you know, uh, one thing that Josh had said Sunday was, you know, just stand, you know, just, just stand with us, you know, 100%. that's, that's it. And so that's what we do. You know, we're, we're standing and, and uh, you know, we're just believing in, um, for God's grace and to be poured out upon this. So. That's exactly right. So that's exciting. And I think that brings us to the next portion of the midweek meal. Uh -oh. This portion of the midweek meal is brought to you in part by Coca-Cola Cherry Zero. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but <laughs> we, say we got a sponsor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no sponsor. For all, so, all of you uh, watching. Uh, yeah, I but we had a sponsor. This comes up to Christie's Comedy Corner. <laughs> As she said, she didn't even yeah. get up at that. I was that. like, what is this? Hello, Christy. Hello. Come on in. Look at you. Still here. Hey, I will. Hey, Christy. How are Come you on doing? In, Christy. How are you, how are you doing? I'm good. How are good, you? Good, good. Hey, I hear you got a joke for us. <laughs> All right, I'll get ready to rate Christy. Here we go. It's on a scale okay. of 1 to 10. 10 being amazing, 1 being 
we should fire her. So <laughs> it's up to you guys what you put. All right. Okay, go for it. Okay. Do you know what the least spoken language in the world is? No. Sign language. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So you, don't on, right that that one? you don't want me to write that one? You don't want me to write that one? No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, because that one was good. Was, gonna, yeah, was I don't know if you should yet. give another one or not, because that one was really good. So I was looking at my ceiling the other day. You know, it's not the greatest ceiling in the world, but it's definitely up there. No. Nice. That was good. I, you know, I'm going to give... You stepped up your game. Uh, I'm gonna give her nines on both I, of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her. I am. I, that they were. That was awesome. Yes. Like I just made her day by giving her nines, but that's true, yeah, man. I'm, I mean, I we got tens across uh -huh. the board here. I'm I gonna, mean, it is just like I'm woo! gonna go with a ten on the first one. That was awesome. That was that really was good. good. And I'm gonna go with a nine on the second. Well, that's one. up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is up there. <laughs> Yes. Oh. <laughs> hey, good news. You get, to do it. you get to do it next week, too. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, Jesse gives a solid uh, nine. Yes. Yeah, so, so we had somebody up here that had, had said something. Um, we were there as returning guests and absolutely loved it. I opening for sure. Well, great. Thank well, you for Renee's that. Renee's awesome. Yes. Awesome. We're glad that you are a part. Yes. And uh, we hope you feel at home. That's for sure. So So it looks like we're going to average, I don't know, average That's out a like a 9.6, 9.9. I don't know. We've got to, we, I, you know, I don't Let's know. Let's round up to 10. Well, I gave a 9 and 9 and you gave a 18, 9. 18, 9, 10. Yeah, so, so we're yeah. 9.7. We'll just go 9.7. 9.7. Woo! Christine! Yeah! Way to go! And she's over here giggling and laughing. She really enjoys that. She enjoyed so it. The cornier, the better. That's exactly right. Uh, so that's that's, <laughs> that's good. Ivy did well. I'm, I'm proud of her. I am. Those were two good jokes. Yes. I've had a rough day, so that may play into it a little yeah. bit, but I I definitely... <laughs> yeah. Where do you go from there? No way. Uh, just up. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Someone, <laughs> someone's going to play that joke out. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so anyways. Uh, yes. Steven won the cooler. Oh, he did win the cooler. <clears throat> awesome. So good stuff. Well, yeah. guys, I'm glad we were able to maybe get on here a little bit, shine a little light in your life uh, on a Wednesday midweek mid and uh, encourage you guys that man you were created on purpose for purpose and that jesus loves you and we love you too wow he just that. snatched it all like i'm not gonna quit right now so we're gonna continue to have discussions because jb just snatched it all and tried to run with it in so, no way did i do that on purpose for the intent of irritating you. uh so robert wants to know or bob we call him bob Hello, uh Bobby. will she be able to keep it up next week That's the tension is there dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. i don't know tune in next week so we can find tune out in next week four <laughs> Coca-Cola Zero, <laughs> Christie's Comedy Corner. Christie's Comedy Corner. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to keep it up. Coming to live Facebook near you. Oh. That's exactly right. But the seesaw one was pretty good too. That time. I don't know. Oh, the seesaw. Yeah, yeah. I think that was all right. Because she said it's cutting the oceans, but it's a seesaw. I don't know. See, putting the sea on it. I get it. It wasn't an ocean saw. It was a sea saw. An ocean saw. saw. I know y'all can't hear yeah. us. That's okay. It's cool. You know, we're having our discussion here. Yeah, you know, no it is joke. what it is. It was a good joke. I don't care <laughs> hey, what look at that. Says. We had 19. We got like, man, people jumped off because they couldn't hear us. No, that's not why they jumped off. Oh. It's because you got offended. I didn't get offended. Yeah, about people being on purpose. For purpose? For purposes. <laughs> of that. <laughs> no, he's in All right, so here it is. Come see us Sunday. Um, Almost yeah, there. I've just lost. No, yeah. so um, I'll help you out. Here we go. Here's the, here's the biggest thing. Here it is. There are so several, just remember. What? That there are several ways yes. for you to get plugged in at Connect Church of Abilene. Hey, we do on our website That's now. Where we were headed. Where you going? That's okay. where I was headed. Uh, on our website, there are several ways. We have revamped with uh, team applications, um, the other thing. 
It's just volunteer on it. Volunteer uh, application. Yes. Uh, so if you want to get plugged in and you want to serve locally in the church, uh, live and in person, or even help us with our social media, maybe help us yeah. with um, the Come production on. side of things, doing lights, uh, helping keep up with Facebook Live and different things during the service. Because Maybe know, getting connectors that we can hook up to cameras. And getting plugged in uh, ah. to that. If you would, go to our website, connectchurchofabilene.com. Uh, and, and click on there. It's under the volunteer tab. Is that correct? Yes. It's under the volunteer tab. Uh, fill out an application and we would love to help you get plugged in so that you yes. can understand uh, your purpose uh, just a little bit more. Uh, as to what you're doing. That, that was awesome. Uh, I'm not going to say what that is. Yeah. So anyway. uh, but it was good stuff. Uh, so if you want, you can do that. The second thing is uh, if you do want to start serving with the setup and teardown, uh, we get yes. there at 8.30 in the morning on Sunday yes. mornings. 201 uh, Mesquite. 201 Mesquite to help set up. Uh, we've got a lot of folks that have been doing it for a long time. It'd be great to be able to give them a day off, different things. Uh, don't feel like you've got to be super official. Just show up. And trust me, we will find somewhere for you uh, to get plugged in. We have plenty of places for you to plug in. A hundred percent. So uh, 8.30 on Sunday mornings if you want to show up. Uh, we'd love to be able to get you plugged in and get you connected with that. And because... Addition, you belong. Uh, and on top of that, uh, we uh, also are needing some more help in our children's area. Uh, we are believing for 12 total volunteers. Yeah, and I think we've got five of 12. Yep. So I mean, we, we just need seven more. Rocking out. Come yep. on. It's a good, it's God's good. God's so. good. That is an area. Guys, listen. And so this was something that I heard, and I've, I've said it the last couple of weeks. But Hello, you know, Taylor. Hello, uh, Nicole. A, <laughs> a quote that I've, that, that I've heard is, is, you know, there is a race for our children's hearts. And the first one there wins. And we want to be the first ones there sharing Jesus. Um, and we want to share him uh, the way that it's supposed to be shared. Yes. Um, and so we need more workers in our children's areas. Yeah. And so, so the great thing come. when you fill out that team volunteer uh, application, you can say exactly where you're kind of wanting to be. On top of that, we've yeah. got a little bit more if you're going to be a part of the uh, kids department, uh, because we understand that the safety of our kids is super important. Uh, so we uh, just ask that with that, don't just show up wanting to work with kids. You can show up just to <laughs> help set up. But when it comes yeah. to our kids, we are very protective. Uh, we want to make sure that our yes. kids' safety uh, is right up there, uh, top check. notch. And so we have a background check that we put people yep. through. Um, yes, so if is. there's anything else and you say, man, I just don't know where to serve, where we belong, everybody could push a broom. And that's one thing yep. that we do. And Amanda, my wife, she is the admin for the children's. Uh, she's in the kids' department pretty much every single week. But it doesn't matter. At the end of service, once everything's torn down, my wife's the first one. And I'm going to brag on her. Yeah, she's yeah, pushing a broom. Always pushing a broom. So Got to uh, love it. That none of awesome. us none of us that are a part of the church think we're too good hmm. to push a broom or to do anything, man. We no. just understand. <laughs> uh, we just understand that <laughs> Nicole said JB yes. no coffee. Yes. Because last I week you. I was yes. yeah. evidently playing with it, and that, that perturbed her terribly. So this week I'm going to make sure that I don't do that because that would definitely bother people if I were to do that. Yeah, so it not, might. Yeah, so we're not going to so, do that. So Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. You want to help serve, yes, show sure. up at 8.30. Yes. We'll have something for you to do on the setup team. Uh, service starts at? 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. at? 201 Mesquite, downtown Abilene. Abilene. <laughs> at the, it's on the corner yeah. of North 2nd and Mesquite. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, and we've got the uh, kids that are going to be having the signs. Uh, you'll see the parking lot, the whole nine yards. And we just want to welcome you home, let you know that you belong. I hit puberty again just there for a second. Uh, so everything will be really good. It is fun. <laughs> so just remember that you were born on purpose. For a purpose. And that Jesus loves you. And we love you too. See you guys Sunday. See you Sunday.